Hey everyone, welcome back to the Weevil tutorial series. In today's video, we're gonna go through the process of setting up a stop loss and take profit order on the Weevil mobile app. You guys might also know it by its other name, an OCO bracket order or a one cancels the other order. For those of you not familiar with this, you guys can use this as a very simple way to somewhat automate some of your trading. It's basically a way to put out two separate orders, both of which are trying to fill. One to close you out of your stock position if it's losing too much money and you wanna stop your losses the other of which is simultaneously working to sell your stock for a profit if it ever hits your target. Whichever one of those orders fills first, the other order is automatically canceled. Hence the name, one cancels the other. Now we're gonna be going through two separate examples in today's video, both on a position you already hold in the account, and then secondly on a completely new position that you don't yet own. Now starting with the first example, closing out a position we already hold in the account. So what I wanna do is look at the very bottom of our Weeble screen here and click on the little Weeble icon at the center. From there, it's gonna open up our account info page where we can see all of our account info, our positions that we're holding. And down at the bottom, you can see I currently have one share of SWN and it's currently valued at $4.88 a share. Now let's say for this example, I wanted to sell that share of SWN if it ever went up to 550, so I wanted to take my profit off the table. But I also wanted to get stopped out if the stock ever went down to 450 because I didn't wanna lose any more money. So in order to do this, all we have to do is go ahead and click on the position itself. So go ahead and click on SWN. From there, it's gonna take you to the stock info page where we can see a little bit info about the stock, what price we own it at, what price it currently is, that kind of stuff. And down at the bottom, you're gonna see a big red button that currently says sell to close. All I want you to do is go ahead and click on that. Once you do, it's gonna open up two separate buttons. The first one being sell to close, the second one being take profit, stop loss. Now the first one there, sell to close, is if you wanted to simply put in a closing trade. Hey, I wanna sell these shares of SWN, or hey, I just wanna put in a regular stop. The second one there, take profit, stop loss, is the one that we're gonna to use today. So go ahead and click on the second button there, take profit, stop loss. Once you do that, it's gonna take you to the order ticket page, and this is gonna look quite a bit different than what you're probably used to. At the top there, you can see it's both a stop loss order as well as a take profit order. The first one, the stop loss, is gonna be below the current price, so that's the one we're gonna to set to $4.50. So we'll go ahead and click on it and type in $4.50 here and hit next. The next one, which it automatically takes us to, is the take profit order, which in our example, we said it was going to be 550, so we'll go ahead and throw that in there. And now that I'm happy with that, we'll go ahead and click out of it. And now you can see the two orders that are gonna be working for us. The first one to stop us out if the stock ever goes down to 450. The second one to sell for a profit if it ever goes up to 550. Whichever one of those orders fills first, it's gonna automatically cancel the other order. Because remember, I only have one share of SWN, so I don't wanna sell two shares, I don't want both of these trades to fill, otherwise I'd be going to a short position. So whichever one fills first, it'll automatically cancel the other order. Now right below those two orders, you can see the next box is time in force, so how long do you want this order ticket good for? If you just want it good for the day, basically if it does not fill today, go ahead and cancel it, we would leave it as a day order. If we wanted it to be good until canceled, we could go ahead and click on the word day there, and then click on good until canceled. We're basically saying, if either of these don't fill today, try again tomorrow. Doesn't happen tomorrow, try again the next day, and the next day, and so on, until it either fills or until we cancel it. The next box down there is quantity. Well, I only have one share, so I'm only gonna put one in there, but if you had 100 shares and you only wanted this to be good on 50 of those shares, you would type in 50 right there. In this case, if we were happy with everything, we would simply click place order, and right there it tells us a little caution screen saying that there's a big differential between the prices that we're setting. In this case, that's exactly what I wanted to do, so we're gonna go ahead and hit continue, and the order has been placed after I hit place order. And there we go, we are now on the advanced order screen, and we can see our order tickets out there working right now. Now, if we ever wanted to change this or modify it in some way, let's go back to the overview screen, we can see the orders on the orders page up there at the top. So let's say we wanted to go ahead and cancel this, we could go ahead and click on the orders page again, from there, we can see our two working orders, and if we wanted to do that, we could go ahead and click on Cancel All to cancel these two trades, and then hit Confirm. Both of those trades have now been canceled, and if we wanted to do it again, we'd simply do the exact same thing, coming over to the Assets page, click on the stock we wanted to close, Sell to Close, and then the Take Profit Stop Loss button. Now again, that was on positions we already hold in the account, so in the second example, we're gonna do it on a stock we don't yet own. So let's go ahead and go back, to the watch list page, and in this case, we're gonna use the example of SoFi here. So opening up SoFi, you're gonna see the big trade button in the lower left-hand corner, that big blue button. We're just gonna go ahead and click on that. From there, it brings up an order ticket, which I'm sure all of you guys are already used to. 
right there, we can see exactly what we want to do. We want to buy some shares of SoFi at a limit price of $16.22. In our case, we just need to adjust that slightly. So we're going to click on the order type button where it says limit. From there, you can see all of these simple orders at the top, a limit order, a market order, a stop, stop limit, but these are all single leg trades. In our case, we want to create more of an advanced order, an order to first buy the stock. If that order ever fills, we're actually able to buy SoFi. We then want to try and sell it for a profit if it goes up or stop ourselves out if it goes down too much. So what we're going to do in this example is look down to the group order section and the very first one there says limit plus take profit stop loss order. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. From there, you can see it opens up a few more tabs down below. However, before we get to that, we still need to focus up here at the top because the first thing we need to do is actually buy the shares of SoFi. So in this example, let's say we wanted to buy SoFi if it ever dropped to 16 bucks. So we're gonna go ahead and change that from 16.19 to $16 even. And next up, we're gonna change the quantity box because we wanna do five shares of this. So we'll go ahead and throw in five right there. Once we're done with that, we can now move down to the take profit and stop loss order. So let's say if I were to fill on this at 16 bucks, I then wanna try and sell it for 16.50. We'll go ahead and set that limit to 16.50. And I wanna get stopped out if it ever goes down to 15.50. So we'll go ahead and throw 15.50 in the stop box. From there, we'll go ahead and click out of it. And now you can see exactly what I'm trying to do. I first wanna try and buy shares of SoFi at 16. If that order ever fills, I'm then gonna try and automatically sell it for 16.50 or get stopped out at 15.50. Whichever one of those sell orders fills first, it'll automatically cancel the other order. You can also see the estimated profit right there if one of those orders were to fill. If the limit order fills, I'm taking a profit of $2.50. If the stop loss order were to fill, I would lose approximately $2.50. Also, if I didn't wanna use one of those, maybe I just wanted a take profit order, I didn't want a stop order along with this, I could always uncheck the stop order. Now, if I were to actually place this order, if I were to hit buy at the bottom, I would no longer be putting in an OCO bracket. This would be more of a first trigger sequence order. The first order to buy the shares of SoFi would then trigger the order to sell the shares of SoFi at 1650, but I no longer have a stop protecting me to the downside, only a profit taking order. Again, if I actually wanted to place this, I would just hit buy at the bottom. In my case, I don't have enough buying power, but you would then just place the order yourself and this order would be working as a first triggers OCO. Or in the case of Webull's naming system, it's a limit order plus a take profit stop loss order. Now that about wraps up everything you're gonna to need to know to get started with placing these types of orders yourself. If I did miss anything or you guys have any additional questions at all, please leave them down below in the comments. Also, please don't forget to hit that like button before you head out and help out the channel and check out some of my other tutorial videos if you'd like to try and learn some more. But we'll wrap it up here. Hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you all in the next video.